well, the Nintendo Direct happened, and if there's anything I have to say about this, it was it was a pretty good Direct. Um, definitely wasn't stellar, but it also wasn't bad. Um, Pokemon news, none, which I expected. Um, it would have been cool to see something for Generation 8, but I highly doubted it. I highly doubt it. Um, and, yeah, so we'll just see for Generation 8 terms of suit happens on Pokemon Day. We'll see what goes on about that. Um, yeah, things that I was, sorry, I broke there. Um, things that I was very excited about. Um, Mario Maker 2 for the Nintendo Switch. Thank God, I never got a Wii U. At one point, I didn't. I'm gl so glad I didn't get a Wii U. It was probably one of the smartest decisions I've ever made. Um, I saw that they're finally bringing Mario Maker, a game that I want to play on the channel once I get a capture card for it, which I'm planning on doing once Generation 8 comes out. Um, get a capture card, play that. Um, make my own levels, even. Just the possibilities... Possibilities are endless, really, with that. Um, Fire Emblem Three Houses. If I do get a capture card, I'm, I'm hell might even play that too. I've been looking forward to this game. I'm not the, I'm more of a recent fan of the Fire Emblem series, but I still like the Fire Emblem series a good chunk, and I'm very excited for that game. Um, reminded me a lot of Harry Potter, to be honest, just minus Hufflepuff, because what what did they do except have Cedric Diggory die, um, and on top of that, there was, uh, Link's Awakening, the remaster from the Nintendo Switch, coming out at some point this year, oh my god, that, seeing as this channel does Pokemon stuff, but also some Zelda content thrown in here and there, I was so happy for it, and I'm going to make, I'm probably going to make a couple more videos, or even more, uh, I burped again. I'm sorry. I'm professional. I swear. Um, might even make more videos about that. Like seeing gameplay of that. The game is just so beautiful, and I love how they made. And I love how they used the Breath of the Wild logo, but then made it into Link's Awakening logo. It was great. I love the new art of the logo. Even I'm nitpicking this down to the very slightest thing. It's such a cute style. It looks so realistic. Like it's kind of weird to say. It's a cute chibi look, um, in a 2D, a, a ten, technically a 2D top-down, but it looks so pretty, and realistic even, like, imagine a realistic chibi, this is what it looks like, and I'm so happy that we're getting another Zelda game to help us blow over the time, is it the game I would have necessarily wanted them to remaster? No, I would have preferred a, th a Switch port of Wind Waker or Twilight Princess or Skyward Sword. Those are my top three in particular. But, hey, beggars can't be choosers. So, yeah, other than that, there wasn't much else that, um, that got me. There was that one, that one game that was, like, something, something four. That game actually looked pretty cool. I might get that. The five game, it has something to do with dragons, I think. I forgot what it was called. I'll have to... Look at look back uh, over at it in the eShop most likely. Um, being in a three development still going on for that. Uh, other than that, yeah, not much else. Captain Toad Treasure Tracker thing. He never actually had the game. Don't plan on getting it. It's a it seems like a cute game, but I don't feel like getting it. Need to save my money for the bigger Switch games coming out this year. To me, uh, the demo for Yoshi's Crafted World has probably already come out by now as of recording this. Uh, so if you if you're a fan of the big Yoshi games, I would definitely go spam refresh on the eShop right now, and wait until it gets there. But yeah, other than that, it was a it was it was a pretty it was a decent to pretty good. I'd out of ten, I'd give it a six maybe. I'd give it like a yeah, I think I'd give it a six or seven out of ten. Um, other than that. Uh, to, to the people who might be disappointed that, oh, we didn't get a new Zelda game, oh, we didn't get a new Pokemon game. Remember, E3 exists, and they have to save some stuff for E3. Remember, Pokemon Day is in, like, a, a week or two. So, we can, we can get a Generation 8 reveal on Pokemon Day. Who knows? I'll make another video. I'll possibly make another video about that afterwards. I know I've said multiple times that Uranium is coming, but I've just forgotten to do it, if I'm gonna be honest. Um... 
But yeah, with that being said, uh, nothing else much. I'll probably come out with um, with some more videos on uh, some Link's Awakening possible stuff. Uh, I've actually never played that game. The game's older than I am. Uh, so yeah, I'm looking very much looking forward to getting to play another Zelda game on the Switch again. But with that being said, I've been Inferno. I'll see all you beautiful, lovely people again next time.